When we think of the Cold War, we often picture the world as perfectly divided between the capitalist West and the communist East. But the communist world was not perfectly united. In the 1950s, after Stalin's death, China and the Soviet Union drifted further apart, as Mao Zedong, the leader of communist China, criticized the new Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev's new policies of de-Stalinization and so-called peaceful coexistence with the West. Mao would seek to separate China from the Soviet Union and would shortly begin the development of China's own nuclear arsenal. But some of the ways Mao demonstrated China's independence were highly unusual. When Khrushchev visited China in 1958 to negotiate an arms deal, Mao insisted they hold the meeting in his swimming pool. Mao knew that Khrushchev couldn't swim and wanted to humiliate him. Khrushchev even had to wear water wings while in the pool as their translators swam alongside. Eventually, Khrushchev gave up trying to swim and sat on the side of the pool, saying in his memoirs, Now I was on top, and he was swimming below. 